Hey class, it's Mr. Adele here. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve perimeter with word problems. So we've done the basics, now we're going to solve word problems dealing with perimeter. So you know the thing I like to do is do the um, three-step approach. It's where you read it once, then read it again, read it for a third time, but we do a different thing each time. So the first time I'm going to read it, I'm going to look at the problem and ask, what am I dealing with in the problem? What is it asking me? What is the problem about? So Noor is buying wood trim to put around her kitchen table. How many meters does he need? Put a question mark there. Okay, so we know we're buying wood trim to put around a kitchen table. So here's my kitchen table. I know I'm trying to put wood around my kitchen table. Now I'm going to read it a second time to see if there are any numbers I'm dealing with. Nor is buying wood trim to put around her kitchen table. How many meters does he need? Well, I know that I'm using the term meters, and I see on my picture that I have number three, number five, number six, number three, but I'm missing one. So I'm gonna have to figure that one out, I know, before I start my problem to figure out my whole perimeter. I'm gonna read it one more time. And this time, I'm gonna see how am I gonna approach my problem. Nor is buying wood trim to put around her kitchen table. How many meters does he need? Okay, so I know I have my kitchen table here, and I know I have to solve this part that's missing first before I add up all my meters to find the perimeter, which is around my figure. So if I look at my figure, I know that I have a three, a five, a six, a three here, and a two, so that's given. So I know this bottom part is six meters. So if I look, and I look across from it, I see that halfway, halfway would be three meters. So if this line would be the same distance as this line, and I went another, if I drew a dot line, and I went another half, it would line up perfectly. So I know that this missing side would have to be three meters. So let's say this again. Since I know this was six meters and this was three meters, this three was halfway from this whole line. So another half would be three. So to get from three meters to six meters, I would add another three to get my six full meters. So then I know this missing number would be three because these lines are equivalent to each other. They're the same distance. So now that I have all my numbers, what should I do? Well, we learn to add up all our numbers to find the perimeter. So let's make this easy for ourselves. Let's try and get us to a even number. So let's go, let's add five plus three plus two first. So I'm gonna cross them off after I add them. So five plus three plus two would be 10 meters. So then I have 10 meters, I'm gonna add my six onto it. So 10 meters plus six meters would be 16 meters. And then I'm gonna add another three meters and I get 19 meters. And then my last three meters, which would be right here, I would get 20, 21, 22. 22 meters. So, how many meters does he need? He would need 22 meters. How did I figure that out? I first solved my missing part, and then I added up all my meters to get my perimeter.